Hey guys, and welcome to Quick Concepts. This is a new section I'm putting together on game design, uh, because one of the most common questions I get asked from students when they're starting their assignments, especially their final assignment, which is making your own game, is where the heck do I start? Like, I've got a concept for a game, I know roughly what I'm going to put together and get together as a final product, but how do I start something like this? Like, where do I begin? So, what I've got planned is a couple of short video tutorials on various things that could be helpful towards making your game. And these are just some of the starting topics that people ask, could you do something, uh, give us a bit of a helping hand in. So I'm going to be doing some quick tutorials on mouse control, uh, custom mouse cursors, uh, health bars is one of the most popular ones, uh, basic physics as well. So for like platformers and sort of like a little mini helicopter game we're going to be putting together. Uh, increasing difficulty on a timer, so how do I go from finishing off one wave of enemies which move kind of slow and then get to another wave and make them faster. We want to move on angles and shoot on angles as well, so we're going to have to use a little bit of trigonometry here to actually work out what direction our player is going to be facing in and shoot out a projectile in that direction as well. Collision detection with walls and platforms, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, countdown timer and a bar motion path animation, wrapping around the screen edges, so kind of like an old Asteroids game where I finish off on the right hand side of the screen and I loop back around to the left or the top to the bottom. Adding movie clips to the stage in a grid, so basically for laying out tiles or various clips that you want to show up in a nice little column and grid row. Uh, enemies with health bars, so taking our health bar tutorial and actually adding it to an enemy and linking it up with its life. Creating sounds and music. And of course a high scores table, which is going to need a database for that, so I'll try to leave that one towards the end. But uh, yeah, if you have any other suggestions as well, um, by all means, write below in the comments, and we're going to get through these one by one, so stay tuned. 